Hello everyone. Let's discuss whatever is going to happen in the final match day. It's going to be fun. We'll discuss who will win the I mean we'll predict who will win the title who is going to finish in top 4. I mean it's pretty much given but we'll see then between Manchester United and West Ham there's a chance that Manchester United finish at 7th position. then burnley and leeds obviously the relegation battle it's going to be fun uh, we will also discuss who is going to win the golden boot and the playmaker of the year uh, so yeah let's start well uh, at the helm between manchester city and liverpool uh, i am a liverpool supporter so obviously i would want manchester city to drop some points against Villa and uh, for Gerard's team to do Liverpool some favor um uh, it would be a fair fair day really if that would have to happen uh yeah but it's going to be a really difficult one i mean Manchester City at at the hard it can happen but it's difficult you know because the last match which Villa played and the next one they only had like two days rest between that and they also have to travel to uh london uh manchester so uh, it will be a bit fatigue in the players i would say although he did uh, gerard did uh, bench uh, ings and coutinho at the start they did come um, as substitutes but still uh, it would be difficult i mean everyone would think some slip would happen but it's really difficult and liverpool have just got to do their job they would have to beat wolves uh, what i would say is uh, people would place uh, bet on liverpool winning against wolves than manchester city not dropping points against Aston Villa such is the situation and it's going to be really exciting uh, i just wish aston villa uh, scores the first goal although if they do then uh, they will have to uphold a lot of pressure from manchester city and if we just look at aston villa's record it's not great um and they have lost their um uh, center back Emery Konsa Emery Konsa which i think is a really important player for them like i said uh, Ings and um Coutinho didn't start the last game against Burnley the Aston Villa obviously have a point to prove if we look at the table then if Aston Villa does win they will end up at 48 points which if uh other results go in their way too and they will probably finish at 10th position which is really good for Aston Villa i think and everyone uh, obviously wants to end the result on a high and also given uh, steven gerard uh, this is his first season in premier league he would want a head start for the next season so i i really think uh, i mean there it's a possibility but it's highly unlikely i mean it's manchester city we are talking about you know at hard is a big pitch football pitch they'll make it as big as possible they'll pass it around as they always do and although if you remember the last uh, manchester city uh, versus aston villa which happened in the villa park obviously uh, the aston villa had a advantage at home it was a tight match actually it was i think as uh, steven gerard did uh, manage yeah steven gerard was there so i mean it was a tight match i did watch it and uh it wasn't easy for manchester city that was all i mean you would think the stats probably favor them but it wasn't easy however it was an away game it, obviously every premier league away game is a difficult one so was this one but 
uh, it's the last match anything can happen anything literally can happen and as the liverpool fan i will just hope that manchester city at least draws against uh manchester villa but my bet would be on manchester city winning the league so at the top manchester city is going to uh win as well as liverpool so the standings will remain same and another uh 90 points plus season for liverpool that's great really great so i mean we all have uh listened the news to state that uh, i mean uh, out of the 30 premier league or whatever uh, they were um uh, out of 32 i think it started in 1990 so 32 out of 32 premier leagues uh liverpool would have won in 25 of them with these many points but still i mean manchester city is a great team and i wouldn't bet against them uh winning then chelsea chelsea would want to win a finish the season on a high too they hadn't had the season they would have hoped after winning the champions league last season after buying a 100 million quid a uh, striker in romelu lukaku who didn't shine if we if we he try to be humble but yeah it was a underwhelming season for chelsea although they did uh, lose on penalties in two cups but still after winning the champions league uh, many pundits even uh, predicted chelsea to finish higher than liverpool so it was a bit underwhelming and there's no chance that Tottenham will finish third because of the GD so Chelsea to- definitely finishing third um they have a match against Watford so both of the teams have nothing to play for Watford is always uh, already relegated and Chelsea are playing at home so i think they will try to finish the season uh, on a high then comes the top four battle between Tottenham and Arsenal Arsenal blew it really they really blew it i watched the best um, between arsenal and tottenham in the tottenham stadium i mean i don't know what arsenal went in that match like uh, in what mindset they went with they didn't look like a team who wanted to finish top 4 i mean tottenham really dominated them throughout 90 minutes i thought after the half time they will improve but they didn't and it was really an underwhelming performance from arsenal and that was a that was a soccer punch i mean i mean even i i would say more than the newcastle one they just needed to uh, draw the match against tottenham and they took a red card then they lost the match i mean it was really underwhelming performance as you can see from the stats also i mean tottenham totally dominated them and then against newcastle it was it's really bad i mean if tottenham's was bad then i think newcastle's was the worst performance arsenal could have ever put in the situation they were in i mean they needed to win both of their matches final matches and they would have qualified for the champions league and deservedly so how they blew it i mean the one against newcastle was also a very underwhelming performance really underwhelming so newcastle newcastle <laughs> newcastle played arsenal like uh, arsenal like newcastle wanted to finish in top four that's how uh, newcastle played actually arsenal didn't turn up we saw zaka blaming some people in the dressing room but i don't know uh yeah So, so my bet obviously is on Tottenham staying where they are already. They just need a draw. They just need to avoid a uh, defeat against Norwich, and that's it. And it's against Norwich too. So Arsenal's hopes are really dented. I don't think Norwich are going to win. I mean, Norwich has just won five matches. So even if Tottenham draw, then they are through. So Arsenal probably are going to play Europa League and Tottenham. So top five are basically where it will stay the same. I don't think anything is going to change in top five. Then comes the top six and top seven. I mean the six and seven position. So Manchester United's match is against Crystal Palace. 
that will be tricky and it's in their stadium sellers park oh it's it's going to be tough it's going to be tough for manchester united i don't i'm not saying they can't i mean uh if west ham win then it's really difficult for manchester united if they draw then they are out of the europa league really are and both of them have an away game at brighton i think west ham will give everything they will they have so yeah i mean it's going to be tough for manchester united they really need to win the match because i think west ham will somehow win their match they will be at 59 59 points if manchester united draw then according to gd they will not qualify for the europa league which will be a really big blow for Eric Ten Hag too. So I think the next match is really important for Manchester United and they really need to win that match. Otherwise, uh, yeah, it will be really tough for the next manager. As far as West Ham, I think they deserve to be in the Europa League. I, I mean, I'm a Liverpool fan. You would say I'm a bit biased about them. I don't want Manchester United to finish in top six. But that's how that's what I think. I mean, uh, West Ham, they really did great this season. I mean, I, I think their squad felt uh, uh, David Moyes must have felt that their squad is a bit, a bit thin for the European campaign, so they couldn't focus both on Premier League and you know Europa League. So that that's really difficult. I mean, uh, Liverpool and Manchester City. the squad they have that's how you can cope with uh, two tournaments or four rather uh, but as a west ham it was really difficult i think so i think they focused more on west uh, the europa league and rightly so because uh, they had a bleak chance to uh, qualify for the champions league by finishing top four so if they could have won the europa league then which was they had a good chance but uh, Shout out to uh, Antwerp Frank- uh, Frankfurt. I mean, they played really well and won the Europa League even. So yeah, I think West Ham deserves uh, the way they have played. And but I I still think that Manchester United will. I mean, it's really difficult between these two. I mean, <laughs> I can't I can't bet on Manchester United winning. I guess Crystal Palace. I can see a draw there, but uh, will West Ham win against Brighton? I think that that's more likely than Manchester United winning against Crystal Palace. This will be a really d- difficult one, to, but I'd say West Ham finishing at the sixth position. <laughs> that's what I think. So there, there's one change in the top seven with Manchester United finishing seventh and West Ham finishing sixth. Uh, if Manchester United win, then great. Otherwise, I think West Ham. West Ham. I am putting my money on West Ham winning the match. So let's see what will happen. The rest, it's uh, let's directly go to the relegation battle now. So it's a really uh, very interesting battle there too. Everton just they just got out of the relegation battle, man. The last match. I mean, how. How Crystal Palace let the two goals slip. I mean that can that can be a factor in their next match against Manchester United, with their hopes down after uh, losing the match uh, with two nil up. But they will be in their home stadium, so I mean yeah, it was Goodison Park. The crowd went behind them and they did the miracle. No one thought. I mean Everton had a really tough uh, fixture. I think the Chelsea match that was really important for them to win. I mean that really changed the course of their future. If they had, I mean, lost the match, I mean everyone obviously had put money on Chelsea winning, but Everton won that match. That was really, really important for them, uh, staying up. So now let's talk about Burnley at Leeds. Leeds's match is against Bradford, I think. Yeah, it is. It's a way match too. I think it's really difficult for Leeds. I mean, 
I think Burnley, what Burnley has done to get out of the relegation uh, zone after uh, after uh, sacking Sean Dyche. I mean, I, I thought sacking Sean Dyche wasn't a great idea. And it's in their home to turf mode. So, I mean, I, I really put my money on Burnley. I think Burnley is uh, safe here. Because Leeds really uh, need to win here. Uh, I, I don't think Burnley will uh, lose uh, the match against Newcastle. Uh, although Newcastle have a great incentive if they win their match, they will be at 49 points. They can finish in top 10. But nevertheless, I think Burnley are not going to lose this match at least. So Leeds really need to win their match, which I don't think they can against Bradford. I mean, it's possible, but Brentford is at their home, so I think it's highly likely that both of the matches will uh, end up as a draw and on goal difference, Leeds will get relegated. So I think the bottom three will remain as they are and Burnley will stay up. That's what I think. So there it is. Manchester City to win the title, although I really hope I really hope Aston Villa to take some points from them. Then Tottenham to finish at the fourth place. Arsenal fifth. Manchester United, interestingly, at seventh. West Ham at sixth. And Burnley to stay up, whereas Leeds to go down again. So that's the title. Uh, the, that's how I think it will end. And let's talk about the... Uh, top scorer and the playmaker. Both of them, uh, in both of them, Mohamed Salah is um, at the top. So, Tottenham's match is against Norwich. Uh, I wouldn't bet uh, against uh, Son to not score. I mean, uh, it's highly likely that he will score. Uh, I can see a 3 nil type of score uh, in that match in favor of Tottenham. Uh, and it's very likely that Sun will be one of them. Uh, will he score more than one goal? I'm not sure. Uh, but I think uh, I think he will score at least one goal. So I think Salah and Sun will uh, be joint top scorer this year. Obviously, Salah, I don't think Salah will start the next match. He can come as a substitute if Jürgen thinks he wants to uh, give the players a bit of rhythm, then Salah can come on. Otherwise, I don't think Salah will... I don't think Salah will score, basically. So, that's that. I think Sun will jointly be at the top with Salah. And as far as assists are concerned, Trent will obviously play the next match. So will Andrew Robertson. Andrew Robertson won't win the playmaker of the year. So it's between Salah and Arnold again. Will Arnold have more than one assist? I don't think so. I think again it's going to be a tie between Salah and Arnold. So Salah will have two awards already without playing. So yeah, that's what I think. I think Arnold will uh, uh, take one assist in the next match. Yeah, so that's that. That's uh, It's going to be a really interesting final match day. Although I don't think much is going to change in the table. Uh, I mean, the 6-7 battle is also, I don't think uh, that uh, surety that uh, Manchester United won't finish in the top six, but it will be an interesting battle, especially at the top. I think uh, the sure shot one is the Tottenham finishing top four and Arsenal not. Uh, then I would say Manchester City winning the title and then West Ham finishing in top six. So that's all my predictions. And in the relegation battle, Burnley to stay up, they need to go down, and rest will just find their places wherever their season will lead them to. 
so that's been it it has been a really good uh video so far hope you have enjoyed it thank you very much